Saturday is a presentation of CBS Sports. Bright, good-looking, matinee appeal, they say. Bobby Chez, unbeaten in 20 fights, 15 by knockout, and seeking higher fame. City's Convention Hall as he faces his toughest opponent. 20-year-old Bobby Chez on the road to a possible world middleweight title. He faces third-ranked Mustafa Hamshow. Also tonight, ranked third in the world, Tony Ayala, 19, San Antonio, unbeaten in 21 fights. A win away from a shot at the junior middleweight championship. the champion, WBC light heavyweight title holder Dwight Muhammad Kwawi, formerly Dwight Braxton, defends his world title tonight. Chez and Ham show moments away from the opening bell. What promises to be a solid night of action as NBC Sports presents Ringside. Test many outstanding sports events in tonight, primetime boxing. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dick Enberg. Welcome. I'll be working with at ringside Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, the fight doctor, and Marv Albert. They're tuning up ready for the blow by blow. It has not. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a non title bout. It's scheduled for 10 rounds, and it's in the middleweight division. The judges, Tommy Kazmarek and Harold Letterman. The timekeeper of the bell is Roy Johnson. Counting for the lockdown seconds, alternate referee, Vinny Raynone. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 10-round middleweight bout, referee Larry Hazard. And now, boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the red corner, wearing the red trunks with the white trim, he is weighing in at 159 and one half pounds. This gentleman has a record of 34 wins, two losses, two draws, with 21 knockouts. He is a native of Latakia, Syria, and now residing in Bayonne, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mustafa Hamshaw. Hamshaw. And his opponent in the blue corner. Wearing the white trunks with the red and green trim, along with the green and red lettering. He is tipping the scales at 159 and three quarter pounds. This young man is undefeated in 20 professional bouts with 15 knockouts. The New Jersey State Middleweight Champion from Wanakee, New Jersey. Boxing fans, here is Bobby Chappie Chase. Let's go down to Ferdy Pacheco and Marv Albert. Thank you, Dick, and good evening, everyone. Mustafa Hamshow claims that Bobby Chez is strictly a television manufactured fighter, that he has not beaten anyone of note, that he has been fed a diet of easy tests. Chez feels it's time to silence his critics, and there's no question that Chez is the fan favorite going in. 20 years old. That undefeated record, 20 and 0, 15 by knockout. His last bout, September the 25th, a second round KO of Chris Linson. 
Chess has won his last three by early knockout. His style always looks to put the pressure on. Keeps coming. And a relentless brawler inside. Mustafa Hamsho, the 29-year-old out of Syria. 34-2, one draw, 21 by knockout. He is a southpaw. His only two losses to the world middleweight champion Marvin Hagler back in October of 1981. He was stopped two minutes, nine seconds into round 11. Sustaining cuts that required 50 stitches. And the only other loss, first ever professional fight, a six round split decision. Ferdy, what's going on in the corner of Hamshow? Hazard saw too much tape and uh, they removed the excessive tape and now have taped it in the regulation way a couple of times around and cut off the tape. There, were, there was just too much tape on there for Hazard. Uh, when you thumb or I'm sorry when you heal with a glove all that tape is rough on the face and can cut Chez so he got rid of the tape. And this is round one scheduled for 10. Hampshire in the red and Chez in the white. Hampshire has not fought since May the 22nd. In fact he fought as a light heavyweight and came up with a third round knockout of Gil Rosario so it's been a long layoff for Hampshire. That, of course, is uh, one of the questions that's being asked. Can he take all that weight off? He is really thin right now. As thin as I've seen Mustafa Hamshaw in the times we've seen him on NBC. He's been down training in Miami Beach where the weather's very hot and more to his liking than up here. So he's fine and trim. Now let's see how much ring rust he's got on him. Bobby, on the other hand, has been fighting regularly. Bobby Chez weighing it at 159 and three quarters. And Mustafa Hancho at 159 and a half. And it's a feeling out opening for both Chez and uh, Hancho. Chez switching back and forth, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. I don't understand what he's doing with that. He's never fought that way before. <laughs> He just switches his leads and doesn't seem to confuse Hamsho, who's standing right in front of him. Chez coming out, trying to surprise Hamsho with the southpaw style. Good left hand by Hamsho. Hamsho a brawler. Look at that shoulder he just put into him. Hazard said watch the shoulder. This could be a very tough bout for the referee because Mustafa Hampshire is one as Lou Duba in the corner of Bobby Chez has said to wear a club on his head. And his elbow and his shoulder. He is uh, of the mauling brawling style of street fighter. And Chez feels he has to control Hampshire's head and elbows. In fact Chez said he feels it'll start out as a clean fight but he looks for Hamshaw to start resorting to so-called dirty tactics if he feels he's behind. Those are the words of Bobby Chez. Of course, Hamshaw feels differently about it. I don't think Hamshaw feels too differently about it. <laughs> Hamshaw acknowledges that his style is just one of those mauling, brawling styles, and he goes right at it from the first round. The control will depend on how Bobby Chez moves and how he controls him in this fight. So far, he's been switching back and forth, lefty, righty, giving him some movement, giving him some side to side, and trying to get off a jab first. It has not been a wildly eventful round, except that we already get a hint of things to come by that shoulder. And Hansho on the attack and connecting on Chez. We are final seconds, round one, and we'll follow Mustafa Hampshire into his corner when this round concludes. Hey! Mustafa Hampshire, born and raised in Latakia, Syria, the third of five children. Latakia, a small city, 150 miles from the Turkish border. Get strong as the and fighting at the now, age of 15 in Syria, right. went on to win the Syrian middleweight national championship, but felt there was no future in boxing in Syria, so saved enough money working as a painter, a painter of ships, and acquired a visa to the United States, was taken in by a cousin in Brooklyn, and his boxing career emerging in the New York area. 
Bobby Chez has been boxing for eight years. He won 24 of 26 average about 16 by knockout. A member of the United States national boxing team, in fact, two years ago, was selected to be the middleweight representative for the U.S. team that flew to Warsaw, Poland for a series of matches. Uh, the journey that ended with the airplane tragedy, but Bobby was involved in a car accident, suffering a nose injury, and it forced him to resign from the team. So Bobby says he has much to be thankful for. This is round two. Patty Flood instructing uh, Hampshire, you're waiting too long. You're letting him do the leading and controlling the fight. You must come out and take command. He did uh, do that, and I thought uh, Bobby took, Bobby Chess took that first round, very slight margin because Hampshire, oh, low blow by Hampshire. Bobby can't stand and look for help from the referee, though. It's protect yourself at all times in this ring. Hampshire teeing off. What do you make of the southpaw style of Chez? Chez in an attempt to depart from what got him here and confuse Hampshire. Hampshire's not confused at all by it. He's faced a lot of left-handers. Bobby ought to go with what brought him here. His strength. And now Chez back to the conventional style. He got here with a conventional style and the style of leading and controlling the fight. Right now, Hampshire's controlling this round. with the uh, strength and authority that we've seen before, and that's because he's facing Mustafa Hampshire, the number three man who's got championship uh, experience, and he's tentative. Bobby Chez is tentative. He is feeling out when he should be commanding. Could be that Chez is pacing himself. He felt that he would not be able to knock out Hampshire, which is a, a, a candid remark from a fighter going into a bout. He said he looked for a 10-round affair. A reasonable assumption from the thinking fighter. Nobody knocks out Mustafa Hampshire. If uh, Hagler couldn't do it, I doubt uh, if uh, Chez's chances are big. Now let's take a look at that distance between the two, and you can see Bobby is maintaining a very respectful distance. He's got to get in there, close that with a jab. He's got to follow the jab with the right hand and get in closer. Right now he's standing right in front. No side-to-side -side motion, right in front of Mustafa, and he's lucky that Mustafa's not getting off. to the end of round two here at Atlantic City, New Jersey. We'll be right back. And there is Eddie Davis, 31 years old, out of Freeport, Long Island, as he prepares to go up against White Muhammad Kwawi, also known as White Braxton, who will be defending his light heavyweight title that'll be later on right here on NBC. Along with Dick Enberg and the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, this is Marv Albert from Convention Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And this is round three. Bobby Chez in the white and Mustafa Hampshire in the red. Under the New Jersey State Athletic Commission rules, scoring is on the round system. And if the round is even, they go to the five-point plus system. There's the morning rolling style, and Hampshire caught with the right hand from Chez. He got caught between the mall and the brawl. Scoring handled by the referee, Larry Hazard. And the judges, Harold Letterman and Tommy Kazmarek. Three knockdown rulers waved, and the bell does not save the fighter except in the final round. They're bumping heads an awful lot right now, and that's bad for Hampshire because Hampshire can cut. Already he's got a little uh, nick on the right brow. Mustafa <laughs> Hampshire has been upset about the press notices he has been receiving recently. He says he is not, he is not of the twilight of his career, as some boxing people have charged. So this is a major bout for him here tonight. 
Major bout for both fighters. He's number three in the world. I don't think too many people underrate Mustafa Hamshaw. Bobby's been told to uppercut because as Mustafa comes in, he leans forward. He has not uppercutted yet. Duva keeps insisting, try the uppercut, try the uppercut. And we're under a minute remaining. Good combination by Hanshaw in this final minute, 12 rounds. Oh, look at that head by Mustafa. Duva screaming from the corner of Chez to Larry Hazard. Watch the head of Hampshire. And what was worse, he did it on the break as Hampshire was trying to break him. I mean, as ref, uh, the referee Larry Hazard was trying to break him. Oh, good shot by Hampshire. Hampshire continues to get that right hand in. And then swarms on Chez. third round we're going to stay right here and visit in the corner of Bobby Chez who has been taking a pounding here in this third round. Well, let's listen in. Get rid of this. Yeah. No, I'm saying, listen to me. I got the nose. This is what I'm saying to you, Bobby. Bobby, yeah, right listen. Here. Don't sit back on the ropes. Take a little stutter step and move and punch. Now, listen. All right, take hey, a piece I want you to jam the right okay. hand. I want you to snuff up. I want you to jam the right hand up on the stomach. Right. All right, settle down, Bobby. You understand? Now, come on. I'm stuck to jam the right hand to a stomach. Okay. You understand? I got it. No, I don't want you to watch that, Bobby. Watch it jam the right hand up on the stomach. It's open there. Right hand side, you have to okay. jab, you have to jab, bend the inside, go and grip the right hand, jam it up in there. Fourth round, okay? Come on, let's gotta start going. Come on. All right, the words of trainer Tommy Parks, a manager of Uduva, in the corner of Bobby Chez, what does the fight doctor scorecard look like? Quite unofficially, I got Hamcho ahead, two to one. I think Hamcho's doing the, the uh, aggressive part of the fighting, and he's been landing in the latter part of each round. Bobby seems curiously in action. I hate to use the word frozen, but that's exactly what he looks like. Chess pounded by the combination of Hampshire. Again, Hazard doesn't like the uh, linebacker technique of Mustafa Hampshire. Curious in activity by Bobby, who's got to be punching. You're wondering if this big fight is too big for him at this stage of his career. Is all Mustafa Hanshaw, and it has nothing to do with the rolling, rolling style. He's getting in with clean shots on Chase. Bobby's not fighting. He's not punching in return, and Mustafa will eat you up if you don't punch back. Hanshaw also looking very confident, picking away on Chase. As well he should. I don't think he's landing this many clean shots on anybody in years. Good right hand by Hanshaw in the ring. Trucks. Chez in the white. Hampshire able to land hooks and putting a lot of authority and power with that left hook. Good right hand. Chez continues to get hit. Bobby standing right in front of him without any motion or any desire to get away to either side, and that is all in Hampshire's favor. We have passed the halfway mark, round four. Bobby Chez opening southpaw style, then switching to conventional, looking to bother Hampshire. It had no effect at all. Hampshire very patiently getting to Chez through rounds two and three, and well in front here in round four. If Bobby doesn't keep those gloves up, that left hook is going to keep cutting off the right side of his face. And Mustafa's devastating weapon is that left hook. He's almost owns the right side of Bobby's face. Doubling up on the right. Chez with very little impact though on those blows. The crowd came alive, but Chez had nothing going. And Chez really taking a beating off. 
right hooks coming in by Mustafa. Right hand by Chez. Hampshire indicating that it had no effect as we come up to the end of round four. Well, Bobby Chez, who has been untested, looking to silence his critics here this evening, has a long way to go as we come to the end of the round. right now as we open up in round five. Is it that Chez is over his head? That we won't know, and that's what this fight's about. Could it be that he made the mistake of waiting patiently to come down the home stretch five through ten? If he did, what a mistake. On the other way. They, want, a, shoot, they want him to move. Luduba wants him to move to the left first, to the right first, not to stand in front of him. But his legs seem curiously like two chunks of ice. They don't look like they're moving Bobby Chez around. And Chez is back to the southpaw style, but Hampshire having no difficulty at all. Mustafa Hampshire in the red, 29 years old, from Latakia, Syria. Record of 34 and 2, one draw, 21 by knockout. One of the losses to the champion, Marvin Hagler. Hampshire had won 27 in a row before losing to Hagler. Uh, Bobby just leaping in uh, to smother Hampshire, and they hit heads. Hampshire's face, a great question as to whether he could take those shift popping jabs of Chess has not opened up. And on the other hand, Bobby Chess's face is getting very lumpy. Tony Ayala, the excellent junior middleweight who we may see later on, sitting at ring ties, points out that Bobby is intimidated by all the rough stuff of Hampshire. And he better just let it all hang out. Something happened. Something happened. He just got, he just got a thumb in the eye. Hampshire just got a thumb in his eye. He can't see out of the right side of his eye. All right, hold it, Bobby. Hold it. Oh, Bobby, is, Bobby has been keeping an open glove with a thumb sticking out. That's the kind of uh, injury that causes you to be partially blinded during this round. And it's called Hampshire to quit fighting. Hampshire trying to work it out, and he did get caught with the right hand. The left eye blinking away, tears coming down. No, 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 no. Stay off the head. Come on. Punch, punch. Oh, Bobby working with his head almost as fast. He gets a warning now. Hazard trying to keep control of this fight. I'm telling you both, said Larry Hazard. Stop with the head. And following the uh, opening round assault by Hampshire using the head and the elbow, he has been pure to this point. He doesn't need to be dirty. He's landing those punches right where he wants them, on the tip of his glove. So that's the end of round five. We'll be right back. He puts his head to the yeah. ground. All right. Then, then, then go for the one two. A lot of pressure. Yeah. A lot of pressure. Side to side. One two. One two. Like in the ring. Side to side. Patty Flood complaining about the thumb that Hampshire took in his right eye. But Patty, very low key in the corner, appears that he feels uh, Hampshire has this fight well in command. And here's Hampshire right out of Chez as Chez back pedals were underway. Round six, scheduled for ten. Chez just landed a good counter right hand as Mustafa got careless. There it is again. There it is again. Combination by Chez. Corner hollering, no switching, no switching. They're finally getting the message that you just cannot switch back and forth. Stay with what got you here. Since the first round, he is finally getting up on his feet in boxing. Low blow by Bobby Chess. Show. 
Let's cut that out. I think that was a, a bit of the novice in Bobby Chess who got hit hard and then took his face by mocking uh, Hampshire. The veteran didn't pay attention to it, just came back punching harder. Lou Duva screaming, you got to get off. Duva in the corner of Bobby Chez, who usually looks to put the pressure on, keeps coming, relentless inside, but has not been allowed to do so by Hamshow. Hamshow's activity is too much for Bobby Chez right now. Again with the head, Hamshow with the head, but following all of those punches, Bobby looks a little rocky now, shooting that right hand out. He's not up. He's not electric. He doesn't have that tension and that fight that he usually has. In short, I am describing a fighter who is frozen. That is Bobby Chez Sr., who came leaping out of his seats a moment ago. Stay Because if not, Hampshire's just taking a ride. And we're approaching 15 seconds remaining. Round six, Mustafa Hampshire in the red has had his way throughout. Mustafa Hampshire and Bobby Jay scheduled for 10. Mustafa Hamshow and it affected Hamshow. He was able to work it out. And watch this as Chez was sent to the canvas, pushed down by Mustafa Hamshow. This similar to back in June of 1980, Clarkson, Michigan. As Dwight Braxton, also known as Dwight Muhammad Kwawi, gets set in his dressing room. He will defend his light heavyweight title by going up against Eddie Davis later on right here on NBC. Marv Albert with the Fight Doctor, Ferdy Pacheco and Dick Enberg. We're live from Convention Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And this is round seven. Piece of uh, tape coming off the glove of Bobby Chez's left hand. Sooner or later, they're gonna have to stop that to cut off that piece of tape. Cause that can flick into an eye and that can do damage as well as a thumb. Incidentally, one of the greatest reasons for the thumbless glove is what you just saw two rounds ago. How do you score it now? Three, two, one, and I've given it um, to Hamshow. It's quite unofficial. He may well be even further ahead. It may be a four-two fight if that even round was for Hamshow. Scoring is on the round system, and if the round is even, they go to the five-point must to break the deadlock. Well, if it was his plan to wait till the later rounds to apply pressure, now's his chance because he's got seven, eight, nine, and ten, and he better start doing something different. And Chess looking to go up on his toes. That's his fight. In and out, punching and moving. This is not his fight when he stands still. Referee Larry Hazard with a very difficult task with two rolling style fighters has handled it well. And it has not been, been nearly as bad as anticipated for the simple reason that Hamcho didn't need to maul and brawl. He has been punching cleanly. Combination by Chen. Oh! Have been Chase's most effective punch of the evening. He stunned Hampshire after taking the hard shot. And another good left hand by Hampshire. It may have been his best punches. He took the best and he gave the best. Back to the movement that his corner wants. In and out. Okay, Fight. Oh, another one of those Scipion moves. Scipion being the victim, not the one that did the, the Chevy. Setting up with the elbow to deliver the left hand. They want Chess to get out of the corner. Okay, let me have it out of there. Come on, out. 
he needs to punt. He cannot stand oh, here. Watch that elbow. All right, I got it. Hazard again, watch the elbow. When Hampshire misses with a punch, the elbow follows as the night the day, and Bobby is getting hammered. The experience of the 29-year-old Hampshire dictating the play against 20-year-old Bobby Jazz. You saw the deep breath by Jazz as we go seven rounds complete. Good action in round seven as Hampshire delivers first the right, and the right on the glove and a tremendous left hand, but Chez able to rally back, and he caught Hampshire with the left. Good counter by Chez. This guy's dead. Do let him do everything. Okay, do it. Do it. Come on, you gotta take all your shots now. Come on. You gotta start taking your shots, buddy. Come on. Come on now. You gotta start coming on now. Come on. Come on. And there is Dwight Muhammad Quowie. So checking things out, watching Mustafa Hamcho and Bobby Chez. As Wowie gets set to go up against third-ranked Eddie Davis, defending his WBC light heavyweight title for the third time. That's coming up later on right here on NBC. This is round eight. And Hampshire out strong to open up. been taken from Mustafa Hamsho. Larry Hazard has just taken that round because that was three or four fouls all at once. And curiously, he doesn't need it because he's way ahead and Chez needs a knockout to win. He's getting himself into such a hole he can't get out. And again, Chez back to the southpaw style. Bobby Chase coming in, 20 and 0, 15 by knockout, a local favorite in the New Jersey area, and taking it over to Mustafa Hampshire, doubling up on the right and on the left. Hampshire just gave him the back of a glove when he missed. He gave him six or seven straight jabs because Bob, Bobby doesn't punch back. He is able to get away with six or seven jabs and then a right hand. Right, what a boxing right, lesson Bobby Chess is getting tonight. Mustafa Hamshow comes in at 34 and 2, one draw, 21 by knockout among his victories, wins over Curtis Parker, Alan Mitchell, Wilfred Scipion. His last fight was as a light heavyweight back in May, so it's been a long layoff, yet he has looked very sharp. The difference in the experience of these fighters is startling. Mustafa Hamshow is trained by Patty Flood, who believes in his fighters fighting maximum efforts every time. And we have seen Bobby Chez is only two tough fights, Teddy Man and Sim. Do you think that's the difference, Marv? Looks to be because that the criticism going in concerning Chez. Of course, we still have a couple rounds to go, but the Chez felt that he would quiet his critics. He has not done it to this point. The only positive thing you can say is he's a young man and he has to learn from these lessons, and that is what makes a champion. As I keep saying, funny things happen on the way to the championship, and nights like this can teach you more than a world of work in a gymnasium. So we come to the conclusion of round eight and another solid round from a Stuffa Ham show. Listen. From Mustafa, and you see the foul. He pushes him with his forearm, hits him with his head, and drives his arm into the Adam's apple of Bobby Chez. Bobby starting this round, knowing he's got to fight. And he caught Hampshire as we open up with round nine. A powerful right hand by Chez, who may be in a position where he needs a knockout. Tough to tell because of the round that was taken away from Hampshire. But Chez has come out a different fighter. Now Chez looks like the fighter that we've seen before, brawling and balling. 
The crowd responding to the rally of Wanakew, New Jersey's Bobby Chase. Opening minute, round nine, scheduled for ten. Bobby Chez Sr. in one of his more quiet moments. A minute gone by. Ninth round. Watch the elbow, says Larry Hazard, this time to Bobby Chez. Bobby has got to continue to fight in that convincing manner because while I think he needs a uh, knockout, still he may still be in it because of that round that was taken away. But here comes Hamshow. Excellent combination by Mustafa Hamshow. Mustafa is fighting a fairly flawless fight. Mustafa Hamshow, who is ranked third by Ring Magazine, going up against Bobby Chez, who is ranked tenth by Ring. Mustafa Hamso is just too physical, and he's too experienced for Bobby Chez right now. He is doing everything a veteran fighter does to a novice. And we're less than a minute left in this ninth round. Well, we look back at this one. Good right hand by Chez. The early difficulties of Chez could be because he attempted to pace himself, something that Jerry Cooney criticized criticized himself about going uh, into the Larry Holmes bout. He said he was so concerned with going the distance, and uh, that may be the same situation here. I think so. You sort of outthink yourself. A veteran fighter takes that opening bell, and he does everything he can every round and forgets about that master plan. Final seconds, ninth round, and we will stay right here to check out the corner. Bobby Chen, there's Jerry Cooney, taking it all in at ringside. Many wonder if he's ever going to come back into the gym. Well, he has uh, made his return. He has begun his uh, preparation, but the question is, so uh, what his next fight will be? Mustafa Hamshow well in front on our scorecard coming out for the 10th and final round. It appears that Bobby Chez needs a knockout. And I think his corner echoed those sentiments that you need a knockdown or a knockout. Bobby, curiously enough, is now up on his toes, a position he should have had through the first five rounds of this fight. We know one of the toughest things to do is to knock out a fighter when you have to. And Hampshire, curiously enough, has never been knocked out. And marvelous Marvin Hagler did all a human being could do to do so. That fight was stopped in the 11th round as Hampshire required 50 stitches. He was cut up by Hagler back in October of 81. So Hampshire, very difficult to knock down, but Chase delivering here in this final round. But he got beautiful combination he got hammered it looked like somebody just flicked the switch and he stopped cold and we're halfway through the set and final round there's finally blood on the 
left eye of Mustafa Hanshaw, and what a shame after this game battle that Hanshaw's put up to be cut in the final minutes of this bout. The blood is pouring down the left eyebrow of Mustafa Hanshaw. That is truly a shame. He's fought such a hard fight. Bobby getting hammered now. And again, thrown by Hamshow. Chess was off balance for under a minute left. Tenth and final round. It looks like it's in the spot of that old cut with Hagler that took the oh! Oh! Hazard caught him on the first bounce like a good shortstop. Second time that Chess has been thrown down. And the bowling, bowling style of Hamshow is concluding matters very, very well. And you know what you're seeing, Mark? It's the rage of Hamshaw being cut. He was cruising along, content to win this fight, and now he's mad. And he's Hamshaw finishing very, very strong. He is fighting That's like a street fighter now. He is so mad at being cut, and I cannot blame him. So we come final seconds, tenth and final round, and on our scorecard, it appears no question about it. A victory for Mustafa Hasso about to end with a low ball. The scoring on the round system. If the round is even, they go to the five-point must to break the tie. We'll be back with the decision right after we pause for these words. Decision, let's go to the ring announcer, Ed Darian. Ladies and gentlemen, on this great Murat Mohammed Incorporated and Main Events Promotions, we have a unanimous decision. And the scoring as follows. Judge Harold Wilderman scoring at 7-3. Judge Tommy Kazmarek scoring at 7-2-1. And referee Larry Hazard scores at 5-4-1. Chez. His unbeaten string ends at 20 in a row. Promising 20-year-old. He paid his dues tonight. Took on the third-rated middleweight in the world, Mustafa Hamshow, and was bested solidly. A unanimous decision. Let's go up to Marv Albert. All right, Dick. First uh, to Ferdy and Mustafa Hamshow. I can't take anything, you know. Is there anything you know? It can happen, boxer. Bobby don't mean it. He but me, you know. He taught me. Bobby he don't mean. But I, I think he's very, very strong fighter. He take a lot of pressure from me. I don't accept it to be taken from me. He's a great fighter, and he have a lot of things to go. Were you, were you hurt by the punches that he uh, hit you with in counter uh, no, punching? No, no, no. I have. Thank God. Thank God. Thank Allah. And I have a lot of strong chain, you know. And this fight, I, uh, I give it to Asurdo because he's in the, the guy he's in the beginning who break, bring me up. I want to thank God. And but thank Patty my... Flood and everybody at the Miami 5th oh, Street Gym that where you train. And, and the sunshine. I want to talk to my friend. Come well, on. All right. At... Saud and Nayet. All right. While we're talking about this, let me ask you one quick question. This young man was 20 and old. Do you think he had the experience to get in uh, with you today? I know. He, I don't think he have a heart to go with me, but he proved it today. Bobby no, Chase, I want to thank I want to take my friend and come all the way from uh, Miami Beach, my two friends, Saud and Nayib, and I appreciate it. Give me a lot of hope in Miami to train hard for this fight, and we thank God. Okay. And Allah. Ham show. You're, you're talking as fast as you're punching. Let me get to, to Marv Albert, who's got a little bit different uh, view. All right, Ferdy. Uh, Bobby, how tough is this uh, for you? He's extremely tough. Uh, I think what uh, was the case here was a little inexperience in the 10-round go, and uh, he's got a little maturity, 29 to 20 in years, and strength, and uh, that was just a deciding factor. Because I had him, uh, I thought I could outbox him lefty, switched to his own way. The dad was getting in, 
Uh, it was just too strong physically. Why Why did you make the transition? Uh, it, it seemed from your corner they were unhappy as you continue to go from the convention over the south ball. Well, my defense isn't quite as good as a lefty. So his consistency got through more than it should have. Uh, but he was very, very aware of my le left jab. And uh, he let me hit him with the right. That's what opened up three or four cuts. And I was going to try and use that for the best of my ability. Uh, but I had a few problems in there judging him. Uh, his head is tremendously hard, as well as his forearms and elbows. But uh, we got each other a few times, and it's just one of those things. What about being tossed down several times? Uh, there were, I would think, what can be labeled dirty tactics uh, by both you and uh, Mustafa, but what's your reaction to landing on the canvas uh, on a couple of occasions? Uh, I've had it in the amateurs where guys were just bulls, but I was able to get up and outbox them. It wasn't the case here. I got to get back to the gym. I'm going to take a little rest and uh, heal up. And I'll be back, and providing he's still around next year, I'd like to get him again. All right, the words of to, Bobby Chess. I have to apologize to my fans across the country, uh, and uh, I'm very sorry I let you down. And uh, I'll be back, and I'm sure I'll make you proud of me again. Sorry about that. Okay, let's get back to ringside to Dick Enberg. All right, thank you, Marv. And Ferdy, reviewing the scoring again. The referee had it 5, 4, and 1. The judges scored it 7, 3, and 7, 2, 1. We had it 6, 2, and 2. Mustafa Ham showed clearly the winner over popular Bobby Chez, whose unbeaten string ends at 20, took a major leap ahead, trying to beat Ham Show, could not do it tonight, now has to regroup. We agreed with him. It appeared to be a mistake that he switched to the southpaw style. He got 20 and 0, fighting an orthodox as a right-hander, went to the left-handed style, and was beaten to the punch consistently tonight with a sportsman in his first defeat. Mustafa Ham Show, the winner, unanimous decision. He has lost only twice and can only improve his own hopes of a rematch with marvelous Marv Hagler. Coming up next, Dwight Muhammad Pawi, the light heavyweight champion of the world. Eddie Davis, the challenger, scheduled for 15 rounds from Atlantic City's convention hall. Now we switch from Atlantic City to New York for this NBC News capsule. Dwight Muhammad Pawi, formerly Dwight Brackett.